Hi, I'm David Mullins, a process engineer with Enviromix, and in this video, we'll cover the importance of VFA transport. This is the third video in a four-part series discussing how wastewater recovery facilities can optimize biological phosphorus removal. So far, we've discussed how enhanced biological phosphorus removal works, and how to use hydrolysis and fermentation to generate additional VFA. In the next few minutes, we'll explain how to get the benefits of VFA generation and how to ensure the transport of the VFA to the PAOs. In 2022, Enviromix won the WEF Innovative Technology Award for a product that does just this. It's called Biomix DC Enhanced Anaerobic Mixing System and applies a unique mixing approach to maximize fermentation. As we discussed in the last video, facilities can create a fermentation blanket in their anaerobic process by mixing intermittently. But what we didn't discuss are any of the details about the mixing strategy. For example, how should a facility cycle mixing on and off? And is there a way to mix that maximizes the fermentation without sacrificing the EBPR? This is where Biomix DC comes in. Biomix DC transforms a traditional anaerobic selector into an intensified fermentation tank. The system operates by alternating a short mixing cycle with a long non-mixed cycle. The non-mixed cycle, also known as the deep cycle, not only allows solids to form a fermentation layer, it also delivers intermittent pulses to redistribute microorganisms and VFA without disrupting the fermentation layer. Let's break that down step by step. During the mixing cycle, the fermentation blanket is uniformly suspended to discourage methanogenic activity and recharge the blanket with organic matter for more VFA production. Utilizing Biomix compressed gas mixing, large bubbles are released through engineered nozzles near the floor of the tank, creating an upwelling motion and then circulatory currents to completely mix the reactor. During the non-mixed deep cycle, the fermentation blanket forms and VFA production resumes. Just as soon as the VFA is produced, PAOs in the blanket begin their feast while releasing stored phosphorus. But when the PAOs run out of stored phosphorus, they cannot accept more VFA. In other words, the PAOs have had their fill. Under this environment, there's a surplus concentration of VFA in the blanket and PAOs outside the blanket awaiting their turn for the process to continue. Transporting VFA from the blanket to the PAOs in the upper layers is accomplished through short, gentle pulses of compressed gas. These pulses transport the VFA upward without resuspending the blanket. Overall, the gentle pulsing helps to keep the PAOs and VFA in happy balance, resulting in an abundant PAO population. Now you know how to optimize enhanced biological phosphorus removal. In the next video, we'll use what we learned and provide real case studies with graphics and data that demonstrate the promising results of Biomix DC. Thanks for watching.